Who's ready for cardio? We've got five heart pumping cardio moves for you today. You're gonna need two cups. Make sure they're about the same size. We're gonna use them as cones and some of our moves. If you haven't done a warm up, go ahead and get your warm up done. I'm gonna set up my cups. You're gonna want them just a few feet apart. We're gonna shuffle side to side, reaching across our body to tap the cups. I'm gonna get our clock started and we will get going. Make sure as you shuffle, you squat and reach and touch the cup, shuffle to the other side, reach across, join me, keep shuffling. You can take your time and shuffle until you feel comfortable and then try to pick up the pace. Make sure you're keeping your chest up. You're bending those knees and pushing that booty back as you reach across your body for the cup. Keep that chest up, keep breathing. Really get into that squat position as you reach across to tap that cup. If you want to step it out, you've always got that option to lower the intensity and step out your shuffle. We've got two more seconds and one rest. Our next move is going to be like you're starting the race. You're going to reach up with the opposite arm and do a little hop. If you want to take the impact out, feel free to take out that hop. We're going to start on one side, do it for the 45 seconds, we'll take our break and switch legs. So start, start position and come up and hop. It's like a runner's start. You come up and hop and lift your opposite arm, raising your arms above your head during a workout really helps get that heart rate up. So make sure you're reaching. If you need to take that hop out, just go up on your toe. Really get that calf muscle involved. If you've got this move down and you feel comfortable in it, see if you can pick up the pace. Three, two, one, rest. We're gonna switch the legs. Same move, opposite leg. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see the motion a little bit better this time. Got five seconds, take a deep breath, get in position, and go. Remember, you can pop it out. Make sure you're trying to keep that chest up. We're bending those knees to get to the floor. We're bending those knees and reaching up above our head. If you need to take that hop out to decrease the impact, totally fine. Still getting a great workout in. I'm sure you can feel it in your quads, feel it in your booty. This is a great move. Just keep moving. Do your best, see if you can pick up the pace. If you need to put that cup in front of you and tap the cup, go ahead and do that as well. And rest. Whew. That one's a tough one. Now we're gonna use our cups and we're gonna run up and tap the cup and then we're going to hop back. So grab one of your cups, put it out in front of you. Ready? We're just going to jog up, tap the cup in a squat, and hop back in and out. Jog up, tap that cup, and hop back. Try to switch hands that you tap with. So you're kind of doing the reach across your body again. So let's switch arms as we tap. Make sure when you're running up, that you run up, you plant your feet, put your weight in your heels in the squat position, and then you hop backwards. So we're doing a squat here and hopping back. Let's do it one more time. And rest. Whew. This cardio workout's getting me. Our last move. I love this move. It is a skier hop. You can use the cups on either side. You can tap those cups. If you want to up the intensity, you can tap the floor. You're just going to hop side to side, going down into a narrow squat, keeping those knees together, squeezing them, pushing your booty back. You want it to look like this, where your booty's back, your chest is up, Belly button pulled into your spine, always keeping a strong, tight core. You've got to support 
your lower back, and your full body. So we always want to keep our core engaged. This move really gets your quads, your inner thighs. This is a good move. Two, one, rest. Whew, that's another one. If you need to step it out, just step side to side and tap. You can always do that. That was a great cardio workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, remember to get in a good cool down. Walk around, let your heart rate come down. If you want to stack another workout on top of it, go look for another one of those five minute home body workouts and make sure you enjoy your day. Have a good one.